And you're nothing more than his servant. You're nothing more than his product. You're not even you're not even a human being without no feelings. And this is why I'm just setting up this digital system to just do away with your freedoms, man. To do away with you being able to express your point of view because according to them, you're just a vessel for them. That's the whole goal of transforming the system from a digital standpoint. It has nothing to do with them bettering in, the, better, better in the world for you. It has nothing to do to, like for example, I've mentioned earlier, how we live in a world where you can't even basically express yourself fully. Like, they haven't set up a world like that for the betterment of the people, including. They're doing this for their own personal good. How is that be? They're doing this for their own personal good, and it's to stop you from resisting. And it's to have you like a like a like a goddamn robot out here. So what's gonna make you just like a robot is merging you with this technology. And they can watch, and through this technology, they can watch every single thing you do. From your ashes to what you buy, every step of the way. That's what this whole thing is in a, that's what this whole thing is about. Excuse me. That's what this whole thing is about. It's to be gods over everybody and to operate like the most high. So let me read this again. This is um, Sirach 11 and 33. Take heed of a mischievous man for he work of wickedness lest he bring upon thee a perpetual plot. And the best way to take heed to a wicked man or to these wicked people is to look into the scriptures. Meditate on the scriptures. When you meditate on the scriptures, you can see how this devil is going to roll and what he's doing before he rolls on you. And therefore, you won't get caught up in his agenda. Straight like that. All right. And like I said, and I'm, I'll say this again, in order for you to read the Bible, you have to have the spirit to understand it. And once you have that spirit in you, then you'll be able to see the Bible for what it is and what it's saying. And then you can interpret the times through it. And in the times, you're going to what? See how this devil really is. You're going to take heed onto this man. All right. Yeah, so let's go back and read. Excuse me, we're gonna read something else. Yeah, I've read that already. And I also wanna go into um, if I haven't read this, I'll read this again. I think I've read this already. But I'm going to read it again because I don't think I've read it. This is um, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. But we are not ignorant of his devices, man. So now, what I want to do, I want to get into another article on Finetra. If I'm saying it right, Finetra. That's the car certified as a Dish 2 ID provider in the UK, right? MasterCard has been certified under the UK Dish2 Identity and Attributes Trust Framework as an identity provider. MasterCard's ID app, which is available at the major mobile app store, gives consumers more choice in how they prove their identity, whether they're starting a new job, making a purchase, running a flat, applying in university. So that goes for everything. So to the average person, which is foolish or simple, they may say, well, what's wrong with that? Well, what's wrong with it is the fact that, like I said earlier before, they're setting up the digital world so that eventually they can capture all of the data. And that's why you have these towers all around here that they've made back in, what, 2019 and, 2019 and 2020, the 5G joints, all right? It's the watch. And they may make, they may say, oh, well, we're, we're, you know, we're setting up these, this is why these systems to prevent people from, um, 
you know, getting their identity taken from them in, in every which way that they do it. And that's the reason for that. But the core, the ultimate true reason for it is like I've said, like I've mentioned. <clears throat> So let's read some more on this. The services uses MasterCards, global network and data privacy practices, keeping consumers in control of their data so people can choose what information to provide to whom and when. Certified organizations like MasterCard can work with each other, ensuring that these two attributes and identities are consistent and trusted. Providers conduct annual assessments to verify they meet DIATM. I don't even know what that is. Requirements, I'm going to have to do some research on that later. By receiving certification in the UK, MasterCard can collaborate with the, the private and public sector to offer ID, say, Sarah Clark from SVP, digital identity at MasterCard. MasterCard has been scaling ID globally since 2019, um, announcing several pilots and global partnerships with Samsung and Microsoft over the past two years. And MasterCard has also successfully partnered with Optus, one of the largest telecommunication companies in Australia to provide ID to more than 600,000 of its customers. So they're getting the ball rolling.